Do you wear denim jackets with paintings on it? The answer is probably no because nobody wears that stuff and that's the whole point of this video. I don't know where this trend came from, it's not even a trend. Instead of painting on a canvas to painting on literal clothes. I get the idea that you want to take art and you want to take clothes and you just want to bash them together but I'm sorry it doesn't just work like that. You can't just take one thing and then take the other thing and then expect it to work each other, you know what I mean? Sometimes two things don't go together, like you can't mix water with oil. However hard you try to take oil and water and try and squeeze them together, it's never going to work. But maybe I can maybe change my mind, you know? My mind is very malleable to new things and I can always change my mind, you know? Maybe I will start wearing denim jackets with paintings on it. I've got a couple images saved and we will react to them and I will give my own opinion on them. Okay, first we got a koi fish on the back of a denim jacket. You're going to see a lot of denim jackets today because somehow they're easiest to paint on. So you're gonna see a lot of denim jackets today. We got a little innocent koi fish. Coil fish or is it koi fish? I can't remember. But you know, something light, something easy. But if you look at it closer, it just doesn't make sense, you know? Denim jackets are from the 80s, 90s era. <sighs> okay, wait, let me let me search let me search up just in case. When did denim jackets became popular? Let's say 1940s, 1950s. So yeah, why the fuck are you putting on something from the 1950s a koi fish? I don't understand it, you know? I am a little bit of a denim jacket hater. I'm pretty sure there's a couple people that I can name that I've seen wear denim jackets and I'm like, fire. But this just doesn't go together. It's not even a design. You just stuck a painting on top of a denim jacket. That's it. Okay, now we have Van Gogh on top of a denim jacket. Bro, what? where's the design? There's no design principles here. It's just you just took Van Gogh and stuck it on a denim jacket. For no reason. What's the reason behind this? In my whole 20 years on this earth, I've never seen someone wear a Van Gogh on any type of clothing or anything like that. Why? Because you're gonna stick out like a sore thumb, it doesn't go together, and plus it's a painting. Why are you wearing a painting on a denim jacket? Stop. Please, stop. Okay, next. Maybe we will find something nice I can get behind. Well, look, I don't, I don't want to bash anyone's work, but some stuff just doesn't work you understand how hard you try it doesn't work this honestly looks like he just cut out an art book and just stuck it behind that's it it doesn't go together at all in my opinion and probably a lot of people's opinions because nobody wears this stuff i've never seen anyone wear this type of stuff ever ever Actually, I managed to find some stuff that I actually like. There's like a design to it. It's not just denim jacket painting. There's actually some design principles here. On this channel, we do not support Balenciaga. Um, like, come on, guys. Uh, we've seen the stuff you do. Art isn't always just art. So yeah, we got some like text on it. It looks very old fashioned, you know, like old fashioned text, old fashioned designs, like retro text, retro uh, paintings. It doesn't look like just a painting on top of the denim jacket. It looks like an actual design that someone put together so it makes sense. We also got a night jacket. I mean, it looks decent. I prefer the Balenciaga one, not going to lie. But at the same time, there's a design to it, you know? It isn't just oil and water. It flows together. And so now you might be maybe thinking, Bob Bartek, you're saying paintings on clothes don't really look nice. So what about Off-White? What about Heron Preston? What about all the other brands that put paintings on top of clothes? Honestly, in my opinion, I used to, when I was a kid or like 16, I used to look at this stuff and be like, damn bro, this shit's fire. But now, this doesn't look that nice anymore. It just looks lazy it doesn't look like it just looks like what it is there's no design to it as well in my opinion does that mean these brands are a fucking trash does that mean Heron Preston is a trash brand off-white is a trash brand no as before 
those artworks that people put onto denim jackets, those are beautiful artworks, you know? It takes skills, time, talent. Those are beautiful artworks. But I'm saying these two things together don't always work. A t-shirt with just a painting on it? Bro, come on. Let's just take the off-white Mona Lisa t-shirt because it's the easiest to decode, I guess, what they were trying to do. They're trying to take old-fashioned clothing and old-fashioned stuff and mix it with casual modern style. So they took the old Mona Lisa and put it onto casual clothing. I get it. In my opinion, it's pretty boring. Although the head and Preston, some of them I actually really like. I've seen a couple designs, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna pop them up here, that I really like. And their clothing lines are amazing. Both white clothing line are pretty good too. I prefer hat and pressed on ones. Even though I don't really wear oversized stuff anymore. It feels a bit childish nowadays wearing oversized stuff. If you used to wear oversized clothing, you know what I mean. Big t-shirts just don't feel the same anymore. Like looking back at old photos of me wearing oversized stuff, it just feels weird. I can't really explain it. It doesn't fit me. You know, because I'm skinny. <laughs> if I'm skinny and I'm wearing oversized stuff, it makes me look even more skinny. So I must have looked like a little bit of a clown. And so honestly, some of the sizes in these clothing brands, I'm fucking telling you, I used to buy XS. I always used to buy XS, right? And still XS was like way too big for me, some of the clothes. <laughs> I remember I bought this head and press on a long sleeve. I'm pretty sure I still have it. And I literally had to sew the sleeves together because they were so fucking big. I can't put it any other way. I looked like a clown. Shit was fucking huge. And it was XS as well. So imagine XL. <laughs> like, bro, you, you can sleep in it. We've covered tops, but let's move into the bottoms. The jeans, the trousers, all that type of stuff. Because I think jeans actually suited better than tops, in my opinion. But I mean, like this one as well here, you know, it's very girly, I guess. If you're a visco girl, or you're 16 years old, or you're like a very girly Barbie person. Honestly speaking, nowadays, women probably not buy stuff like this. I mean, it's something bad looking because a lot of people don't like it. If you believe everything comes from external, then yes, <laughs> it means it looks, it looks bad, right? There's no way around it. But I've seen some good designs, like this one as well, you got anime and stuff on there. I actually prefer the right side more to the left because it doesn't stand out. And again, I don't see the design principles here, right? There's no design, it's just paintings on top of jeans as well. It's no different to a denim jacket with painting on top of it. If they took out the faces and all that, this would actually not look that bad. It would be more subtle. They've got the clouds. They just got two people on there for no reason. I don't get it. But I also seen brands like Amiri, Amiri jeans. They like do like Damon here's plops on top of their jeans. Bro, come on. And then charge them like 700 pounds. Like you could say there's, oh, it looks better. Uh, honestly, I cannot do, I can't do this. 700 pounds for regular jeans with some plops on it. It doesn't even look nice, I'm not going to lie. It looks like the trousers I used to paint my house and those do not cost 700 pounds, I can tell you that. Now maybe you're thinking, damn, so how are we ever gonna take the world of art and the world of clothes and then combine it together so it goes together like cream and ice cream? I can show you the collection that blends two of those worlds together so well that they make shirts that cost $3,000 per piece. And this is off the top of my dome, but I'm pretty sure it's called the Prada Christopher Columbus. Prada and Christopher Chanem shirts. I mean, I think anyone would say that these look beautiful, right? Am I wrong? And the price tag further confirms that everyone wants these, right? Like this goes so well together. It's almost like the artwork is the clothing, right? It doesn't look like art on top of clothes. It looks like the art is the clothing. This is like the Roman bowl or something. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Not going to lie. This reminds me of those potteries that you have and they're like white and you have all this stuff around it. I'm pretty sure I can find something in my house that looks exactly like this. Like this is what I mean. This looks like something 
like an actual artwork that you can wear. The vase, the white background, and the art, the blue art. It's beautiful. It's honestly one of the best shirts I've ever seen in my life. And hopefully one day I can buy one. That'd be pretty nice. Everyone donate below so I can get a Christopher Shaman shirt. Also this one, I've, ne I've not seen this one until yesterday and damn, it's the same thing. It just looks like an artwork you can wear. It doesn't look like clothing with art. It looks like an artwork I can put on and it goes well together. This one, I can kind of, I can kind of critique, but it does have a design to it, you know? It's not just artwork on, on a shirt. It looks like a design. Yeah, it's not my favorite. The white and blue one is probably my favorite. But there's a story to this as well. It's not just some random stuff plopped on and just called it a day and left it. it. Looks like this has a story to it and I maybe don't understand it because I'm dumb. If it was like a couple hundred pounds, maybe I'd cop this. But I think from what I've seen, this might be the most expensive one because <laughs> the rarest. So what are your thoughts on paintings on denim jackets and jeans? and artwork on top of clothing. In my opinion, it can be done correctly, like I showed you, but most of the time people just make tacky stuff that no one is going to buy. If you don't agree with me, you can dislike the video and then I know never to make videos again. No one is going to be censored if you want to say, man, fuck tech. You can say fuck tech. If you're like, I love tech and I want to marry him. Good luck.